Today we flew to four uranium mines located on the north and south side of the Grand Canyon. There's been more than 1,000 new claims filed within the last year and a half around the Grand Canyon because the price of uranium has gone up. The first mine that we went to is one that was closed in the 1980s and is about to reopen. It's one that's heavily protested by the Havasupai people because it's on their traditional homeland and it's around Red Butte, which is the sacred mountain. The two other mines that we visited on the north side, actually three mines, are all ones that were out of business. The company that had them went bankrupt and now that the price of uranium is back up, the company that bought the mines, Denison, is uh, preparing those mines to reopen. One of them has already started hauling ore. They had permits from 1988 that the Grand Canyon Trust and others have filed lawsuit against that the Bureau of Land Management should not allow those mines to go forward. Uh, the amount of uranium taken out of those mines is fairly substantial. It, it lasts, the mining lasts three to four years and then they haul the ore all the way up into Utah. The ore that's coming out of the Grand Canyon mines are destined for Korea and for France and the profits are headed to Canada. So it's not really a, a national security thing at all for our energy security. It's something where the 1872 mining law allows these companies to uh, go in and take public lands and use them and basically risk contamination of the groundwater, they fragment the habitat for wildlife, and they really impinge on the, the sacred areas for the native people.